Can we use weed smoke for this? Yeah, we can, we can experiment with that, yeah. We've got some banana OG cannabis in that smoker, and we're going to use that to smoke those bees and keep them from stinging us. The way it starts is it's a brood's nest, right? So the brood nest is about right here in the middle where they're making babies. It's, that's all they're doing is just making babies in, you know, day in and day out. That queen's laying 1,500 eggs a day, and, you know, and, and bees die every 30 days. So you know, they, have, they have high rotation in here. It's one of the strongest structures ever built in the world. The honeycomb. Yeah, the honeycomb. It's amazing how strong that structure is. So, like, how do you know when you want to harvest honey from it? Uh, when it's completely capped and, and sealed. See all that uh, honey that's uncapped right there? See that honey that's uncapped? Oh, yeah. I can just take these frames of honey and go inside with them, right? And, and then extract it from there. So you guys want to take this one? Oh, uh, yeah, pretty good looking honeycomb. Really cool. He's taking that inside his house. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> just literally just cut it right out. There you go. And I'm just going to literally just cut it up. And then we're going to take it and we're just going to pour it over the cheesecloth, and the honey will seep through the wax. Oh, look at all that honey. Twist it and there wring it out. There you go, yeah. Yeah, that looks good. There we go. That's called <laughs> honey, man. That's You know what I call this? Liquid gold. Well, and like in a way, this is a lot like just making concentrate with cannabis because you're leaving behind all the stuff that you don't want, which is this wax. This is the next part, huh? Yeah. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to infuse uh, 10 grams of this cannabis into coconut oil. And so it's actually going to infuse into the fat of the coconut oil. That just goes right in there, huh? Yeah, it just goes right on top. So do we have to mix that into the weed at all? Or uh, no. Uh, so like once we put this into the hot water, it'll just melt through. And then just cap this up, and then we'll just drop it into the water. We'll, we'll just leave that in there for you know two and a half hours, I'll say, just to make sure we get a very thorough uh, infusion. And then we'll okay. be ready to go and strain all the flour material out of it. You can see it's melted fully and blended with the weed here. This is fully melted, so I'm just going to dump it here um, through our strainers. Um, so we have a, uh, a wire mesh strainer and then cheesecloth on top of it, and that'll just make sure we catch all this plant matter. Once I filter this stuff and get the actual oil, then I will take the oil and add it to our honey. Oh, man, that is beautiful. Wow. I like seeing this bear get filled up. It's like he's getting purpose. Right, right to the top. Gorgeous. Man, did you hit that one out of the park today? Dude. Wow, look at that. There we go. Perfect. Can I lick this? <laughs> go for it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely lick that. How it is it? It's so good. Yeah? I mean, it has just a nice flavor, aroma to it, you know? Whoa, yeah. From, oh the, from the hive to the table. There we go. So we got our five milligrams per teaspoon honey bear, and we can use that for any of our dinner parties.